Hi everybody, so we are at Demo Day at the PGA Show. You can see right behind me, we've got the Cobra booth. I think they definitely have the best booth here. It's about like eight o'clock in the morning. We got here super bright and early, got our badges. We're gonna do the rounds around the range and we're gonna finish off with Cobra because I am doing a special video with them at 11.30. I'm gonna be testing out the new Dark Speed product. So that's gonna be really exciting. And yeah, we're just gonna have a fun day here at the Demo Day. All right, so we're here at the Cobra booth. I've got Andrew Lusty with me to fit me for this new dark speed driver. Yeah, let's do it. What do you think first thoughts compared to your Aerojet, just visually? Visually, it's stunning. I mean, like the all black is amazing and the three port, the three weight ports is very interesting. For custom fitting, this back weight's a new addition this year. Yep. It's really exciting to have, you know, in the past, there's certain players that prefer the shape of the LS. Yep. Maybe they don't spin it enough, maybe it's not forgiving. Yep. Now we can pull that weight back, give it a little more spin, a little more forgiveness, and we can get more players into this faster, smaller right. head. Love it. All right, All right let's, let's try, try it out. out. So Savannah, yep. little draw is kind of your typical shot? Typical is draw, okay. yeah. So we started out with the majority of the weight in the heel of the club and you'll see that the shots here dive a little bit. They don't stay in the air as long as I would have liked them to. So that would be pretty stock, that shot? Yeah, a little in the toe on that one. You see here that I missed First that one in the, the toe. So that tends to be my miss and you'll see how we sort that out later on in the fitting. And with toe side tend to be your miss if you're gonna miss it? Yeah, okay. typically. With your Aerojet, was that weight out in the toe? The heavier weight? Uh, we did even. Okay. Three and three okay. was like a typical okay. go-to. Now granted, I was pretty nervous for this fitting just because I wanted to make a good impression obviously and I hadn't hit any shots that What's day. What's the weighting at right now? So right now we have you in the, the neutral setup which is 12 grams in the heel, three in the back and three in the toe. And so, then additionally, custom we have eight grams and 16 grams similar okay. to last year. So okay. maybe give me one more and we'll mess around with it. <clears throat> That was a better height on yeah. that one. That's how you, you like to see that higher Yeah, height? I like that height. Yeah, attack angle six and a half up. Is that pretty typical for you? Yeah, when we get going in our speed sessions, I'm like 13 up. Okay, so you're really trying to yeah. launch it high with no spin? Yeah. Okay, let's try that weight out in the toe. Okay. Let's see. Does shaft feel okay or does it feel a little stiff? Yeah, shaft feels good. You said you, you like to go lighter typically in the head? Yeah. Okay, so let's try this eight gram and we'll put it out in the toe. Okay. Normally what you want to do, you want to move the CG with where someone's strike is. If you have the CG all in the heel and you're hitting the toe, you're going to get a lot of gear effect. Okay. If you have the weight out in the toe and you hit in the toe, yeah. A, you get that minimal gear effect. B, you'll get more ball speed. If the weight's behind the strike, you're going to get more, more speed. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Better? Yeah, I like that better. Yeah, it's like a very drastic, not drastic, but like you, you can, can feel, tell right? the difference. Yeah, when you move weights to in head, it'll feel different. It'll also sound different. Anytime you move weight in a club, it'll change yeah. the acoustics a little bit as okay. well. Yes. Yeah. It's better. We just move the weight out into the toe. If her, if her, yeah, so her miss is to hit a toe side and the weight. So you always want to pair up the CG with the strike. So if someone hits it heel side, you want to move more weight to the heel because it does two things. It'll minimize gear effect and you get more ball speed. If you're hitting out in the toe and the weight in the toe, then you're going to get more speed, right? Oh man, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah, That's well, really good. So what's the nice thing with all the head, this year's heads, there's three weights in this one, there's two weights in the X, and there's two weights in the Max. So right. depending as a fitter where someone hits it in the face, we can quickly move CG around. This head, like that I said, made all the difference. Yeah, yeah. This, this head too, we could try it as well with the weight in the back. That's a new addition this year in the right. LS. So yeah, or, or just the forgiveness. So, you know, in the past, so the LS head, it's the most aggressive arrow. So it's gonna be the fastest head, but for some people it might be too low spin, not forgiving enough. Then we can pull the weight back, get more players into this head. Vice versa, the X head, 
last year in the Aerojet, there was just one way to the back. So a lot of tour players actually liked the bigger footprint, yeah. but it was too high or not fast enough. So we were hot melting the front of the driver. Now we've added a weight port in the front. So if you want the little more forgiving profile, yeah. you still want speed, then we can still move that weight forward. And some tour players play it? Some, they, some tour players prefer that bigger shape. Wow. Even, even those guys like forgiveness, right? Right, exactly. So. Yeah. So that one there, that was off the toe, right? Yeah. When, before it was diving. Yeah. Now it stayed in the air, yeah. right? Yeah. Wow. More forgiving. I like the shaft too. Was Feels it? good. Yeah. This is a stiff. That's stiff flex, yeah. So A series mid sixty. Yeah. Okay. Do you want? Wow, that's the best one, yeah. Yeah. That one felt really good. Yeah, so ever since we moved that weight in the toe, you didn't have yeah. any of those kind of low left yeah. ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you want to try something different shaft-wise? Uh, I like that shaft. You like it? Okay. Yeah. Do you play your, like, golf course driver at this loft or just when you compete? Typically when I compete. Okay. But, I mean... Because I'm competing more often than I'm playing, playing just I just keep it. it, yeah. Yeah, the one thing I'd say is your spin rates for golf golf yeah. are a little low. At yeah. 7.5, they're below 2,000. So to control the ball and hit fairways, typically we don't want to fit under 2,000 spin. Mm -hmm. You're trying to compete and hit your longest drive possible. Yeah. You want the highest launch and lowest spin, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Do you want to try maybe just a different shaft? Sure, yeah. yeah. That yeah, was awesome. really good. Okay, so Ventus TR, it's kind of a yeah. unique one. Five stiff, so it's light but still pretty stout. Okay. So we'll give that a shot. We'll see if your club bed speed comes up at all, too. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm just trying to swing smooth so I don't get too nervous. It's good there, too. Yeah, different feel, but good. Yeah. Yeah, another good one. Feels nice. Yeah, really good. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Was it to feel too light or does it feel no, better? No, it feels good. Swinging a little faster. Yeah. Ball speed was 156, 300 total. That's the first one that's been 300. Yeah. So really good. Um, I like the, um, I like how stable it feels. Yeah, so the, the TR black. So previously Ventus had the, the black, the blue, and the red. Yeah. Now they have the TR black. The black, the TR black is just lower torque, even stiffer than that normal black. Yeah. But this is a cool one, being 50 grams, so it's light but still stiff. So you, you can create the yeah. speed, but it's still gonna be stable for you, right? They, uh, I've been in touch with LA Golf, okay. and they sent me their G series, okay. which is really light, yeah. but a little bit like, like more stable kind of thing. So I'm yeah. interested to see how that. Okay, I actually have one more thing for you to sure. try. Yeah. It's actually brand new. Hey Savannah, so this is actually pretty cool. This is a brand new prototype called oh. uh, Artera. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're here this week trying this new one out. So. This is the blue profile, okay. so stiff in the handle, a little softer in the tip, so yep. give that a shot. All right. Brand new one, yeah. yeah. So a couple of guys, a couple of the guys used to, used to work at Fuji, um, created that one. So that's that's different. And they, they created that one for you guys? No, they're actually they they, just, they brought it out this week for us to try try it in our fittings, yeah, yeah. kind of see what the feedback is. So this is the blue model. So like I said, it's stiff through the handle and a little act, a little more active. I in the feel tip. that immediately. Yeah. So this is no. <laughs> yeah, so this is a new shaft. It's stiffer in the handle here and then lighter uh, less stiff in the in the tip and you can feel that like immediately. Right. Yeah. So that's the flatten out the okay. Yeah, what's the what's the like design the profile? Yeah. This one is kind of their mid launch, so okay. cool little design on the shaft here. You see these this here? So, and they have a black model, and the black, the black comes, well, think of like a battery, mm -hmm. it's more full. So the more full this oh, color okay, is, cool. the stiffer the profile. Yeah. And you can see, they, they call this one the active, and then the other one they're calling the firm. Cool. So this is the active stiff. 
Wow. wow. The way you described it when you brought it over is exactly what it felt like. Yeah, so night. I tried it last week, and that's the first. I play Aventus TR Blue, so yeah. I like the stiff kind of in the handle in the midsection, but mm -hmm. I'm kind of a low spin player. Miss it. I have a hook miss, so I like it a little more active tip to get the spin up in the, gotcha. a little bit. So. Active stiff. Yes. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> that one felt really good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, 281 there. Really good. Yeah. Let's try one more thing. So we sure. haven't tried one setting. Okay. Let's try with the weight in the back, just to see. Sure. I like it in the toe for your your toe miss, but yeah. let's just pull it back and see what, how, it, how it affects the ball flight and the spin. Cool. Go. All right. All right. <laughs> so we'll try it now with the weight in the back. Just okay. kind of see how it affects the launch and spin and the ball flight. Awesome. Tell me how it feels. It should feel a little different as well. Yeah. Those are the only four shafts in the U.S. right now from that company. Oh, Straight yeah. Straight out of the factory. <laughs> nice. <laughs> It does feel yep, a little different do. yep. immediately. Is that one a different profile? That's the same one she was setting. Okay. We just all we changed was the weight setting. Okay. We pulled okay. that eight gram back a little bit. Yeah, it feels different yeah. right off the bat. I just pulled the weight back just to see. So that was the first one with a spin above two thousand. So if we're playing golf, that's a better spin rate. Definitely higher. Yeah. How'd you hit that one? Uh, solid. Solid, huh? It sounded solid. Hmm. Yeah, 1340 spin, so a little higher. You were kind of living like 1100 before, so yeah. it's cool to see. Pull, moving that way back, you usually pick up like two to 300 RPM. So when we're fitting somebody, yeah. if they're kind of, they need that little couple, couple more hundred RPM to stable the ball flight, or yeah. they like to see it a little higher, then we can really quickly do that and change That's it. That's so cool. Yeah. That's really, really awesome. I love the feel and the sound. Yeah, it sounds the really, really good. The sound is really, really nice. Did you notice the difference in the sound when we pulled that weight back? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, love it. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, no problem. It's good <laughs> to see you again. Yeah, you too. I am back home as you can see I didn't have the chance to close up the video while we were in Florida so I'm going to do it with you right now with no distractions and I can really talk to you guys about what I loved about the new driver it was such a pleasure getting to work with Andrew during that fitting and it was so cool to see the new customizable features on the LS model when I saw the profile of the head on the LS I instantly knew that it was going to be something that I absolutely loved the profile of the head is spectacular the color and the matte finish on it is really, really sleek, minimal branding on the top, and it just looks so clean, and it goes really well with my favorite shafts, which are the LA Golf shafts. So let's break it down. Last year, we were playing the Aerojet, as you all know, and we were like, wow, this is probably one of the best drivers that I've ever played in my whole life. And when we got word that this year's Cobra Head was going to be even better than last year, we're like, how the heck is that even going to be possible? Like... The Aerojet is so good and they did not disappoint with the dark speed. The dark speed is incredible. The acoustics on the head are amazing. Uh, when you hit like a center face shot with that head, it's like, oh, I made that sound with the driver. It's really, really satisfying. And I really enjoy the, the customization capabilities with the head and the weights. So there's three weight ports on the LS model, which I absolutely love. And Andrew had me try more weight in the heel, more weight in the toe, and then more weight in the back of the head. And every single one of those were very different one from the other. It changed up the feel significantly. And it also changes the acoustic a little bit as well. So. When I have a miss hit, it tends to be on the toe. So we started with the weight, the heavier weight in the heel. And on my toe misses, the ball was just diving. So it wasn't staying in the air long enough. And he moved the weight from the heel to the toe. And that instantly made the biggest difference. The ball flights started straightening out. And then even on those couple of miss hits that I had on the toe, no dive, nothing. It stayed in the air so long. It was super, super accurate and a fast head as well, which is really nice. Obviously, my preference was to have the weight in the toe, like the heavier weight in the toe. 
Um, but at the end of the session, we tried out the weight at the back of the head just to get the experience as well. And it was really, really cool because he kind of explained it in the way that you can kind of get your spin up just a smidge more when the weight is at the back. So um, for me, when I compete in long drive, I play my driver head at seven and a half degrees and I'm trying to get as low of spin as possible with the highest launch possible to maximize my distances. That's kind of how I'm able to do it. But then if I want to keep my loft at seven and a half and then play on the course and kind of get a little bit more spin out of that for it to be a little bit more manageable on the course then I can move the weight to the back of the head and it'll give me a little bit more spin, making it a little bit more accurate and that kind of thing. So that was really, really cool. And it was really interesting to see like the instantaneous change of feel in the head with those three capabilities, like the three weight ports. Um, the weight options are three, 12, Three and 12 are the stock um, weights, and then you can also customize it with an eight and a 16. So depending on what you like in your head, you can kind of play around with that. So needless to say, the dark speed is phenomenal. I absolutely love my Aerojet, and the dark speed is like even better. They did such a great job um, designing this club. The best part about being a part of Team Cobra are the people behind the brand. We had the opportunity to meet so many people from Team Cobra. We have worked really closely with Jamie um, and we also work really closely with Mike Yeagley. He is the head of innovation at Cobra. So he is really, really proud of this product and he got to you know, talk to us a little bit more about the product and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, the team behind Cobra are phenomenal. I got to meet the Canadian representative, Andrew, as well. And then obviously worked with Andrew Lusty for the fitting. So could not be happier with the experience. Um, I feel really, really proud and grateful to be part of Team Cobra and have the opportunity to, you know, create this kind of content for you guys. Uh, it was such an awesome experience at the PGA show this week. So with that, the PGA show was an absolute success this year. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to try this new head at the Cobra booth for the first time. So with that, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below what you think about the new Dark Speed product, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.